Now, this is one of the most bizarre celebrity news stories of the year, and I genuinely do not know what to make of this. Now, a little bit of recap for those of you who don't know what's going on. Uh, this is Dr. Disrespect, huge streamer, very famous, and uh, he was on Twitch. I believe at the time he was even offered a million dollar contract for exclusivity. And right after the contract is signed, I think like a couple of weeks later, give or take, he gets banned from Twitch. And the way he got banned was very bizarre as well. That Now, at the time, I made the video and I went through it. He's basically sitting there streaming. And at one point, he turns pale like a ghost. Like, like he saw something in the chat. He saw something that really creeped him out. And it's obvious that at this point, he knew that he was done. Like, like, he knew that it was something so serious that he is done. And he, I, I believe, like, he promotes some uh, very controversial book, quote-unquote. I think it was, like, Jordan Peterson or something. Like, he does something, like, really out of character and then ends the stream. And after he ends the stream, it turns out that he received a permanent ban. And the moderators just don't want to say why that is. It's, like, extreme content violations and people were left hypothesizing on what went on. Now, now, some individuals said that he was trying to get with other streamers in order to make an alternative to Twitch. And Twitch didn't like that, so that's why they banned him. Um, but I personally thought that what, what if like he had some compromised logs? Like someone had something on him. Someone knew that he did something that if it was out in the public, it would destroy his reputation. And that is why I thought that when he looked at the chat, he turned white as a ghost. It's like that, that would be the thing which, which made him realize that he is done. And now, so many years later, we get deeper into the controversy. And you have uh, Mr. Cody Connors. Now, Mr. Cody Connors has been working on Twitch for ages. People know who he is. Like, his name is public. So... Take into account that when he makes such a statement, he is aware that if he says something incorrect, he can get sued. So basically, uh, he insinuates that the reason Dr. Disrespect was banned is because he was caught sexting a minor in the existing Twitch Whispers product. He was trying to meet up with her at TwitchCon, and this is a case closed, right? So years later, you have uh, Cody Connors coming out and basically saying that the reason for the ban is that he was sexting with the minor, which would justify why Twitch would terminate him even though they signed a million dollar exclusivity contract. They wouldn't want to get themselves associated with it. But here where it becomes weird, if that is the case, why didn't Twitch just give the reason? Why didn't they come out public? Why didn't they announce the authorities? I mean, this is a crime. So what happened with that? It's not like a civil case where the victim can say, no, actually, it didn't happen or anything like that. Uh, if the accusations are true and what happened is actually what happened, then why uh, haven't the authorities got involved? Um, and if the authorities would have gotten involved, then we would have known more about the scandal. So is Twitch burying this? Like, like what exactly is going on? This is very suspicious. It's suspicious because on one hand, I kind of tend to believe why Cody Connors is saying here because he's got his name public. Like people know who, the, who he is and he is risking himself getting sued if what he is saying is not true. But on the other hand, you also have Twitch, which didn't come out with this in public, didn't make a big thing out of it, right? So everything was on the hush-hush. And here's the interesting part. Dr. Disrespect basically came out recently and said, um, I get it, it's a hot topic, but this has been settled. No wrongdoing was acknowledged. And this is uh, basically him talking in legalese. And, and the thing is, it's like, what do you mean like no wrongdoing was acknowledged? Like, like if this was a mature person, right? Like if we're not talking about a minor, if we're talking about someone that's over the age of 18... Then, yeah, like, if the person claims that, I don't know, they got sexually harassed or something, and then when pressured, they're like, no, no, you know what, I actually was fine with it. That would be a situation where you can make no wrongdoing was an acknowledged claim. 
But if this is a minor, it doesn't matter what the minor says, right? Like, if you have chat logs where you're sexting with the minor, that's illegal. Like, because the minor cannot consent, right? So, like, even, even if the minor was happy that the interaction was taking place and everything, it's irrelevant. It's still a crime. So, I, I don't know what Dr. Disrespect is saying here, but, like, notice he's not denying the allegation. He's just saying that no wrongdoing was acknowledged, and he's also saying that the topic has been settled. Now, now again, the interesting thing is that you can settle a civil case, so, like, for instance, if your neighbor damages your car, you can say, you know what, we're good. Like, you don't, you don't have to do anything, just fuck up. Right? You can settle a civil case. The only way I think you can settle a criminal case is if the prosecutor doesn't want to press charges. And there are a couple of criminal cases where the victim can actually decide whether they want to press charges or not. But in this situation, if it's, like, involving a minor... I don't know the legislation of the United States, but I would find it difficult to believe if it's possible uh, for the minor to say that they settled. So yeah, like the settlement would probably be with the prosecutor, but even then, like the media would get wind of it, especially when it's a big celebrity like Dr. Disrespect, it would be out there. So the only thing that I can see is that there is an NDA involved. Now, now I don't know on which side, and I don't know like who is not allowed to talk about what, but I do think that there is an NDA involved, and I do think that uh, the parties aren't willing to talk about it. Like, Twitch does seem to have settled. Uh, one of the possibilities is that Dr. Disrespect has something on Twitch as well. I don't fucking know. It's just very bizarre. It's very weird. Again, like, like why is Twitch so silent about this? What, what is their interest to not actually come forward and say exactly what happened? Um, as for this guy, which I, I don't even know, like, I think he's operating in his own personal name, not, not in the name of the company, right? Um, there is the other possibility that uh, people are suggesting, which is that he believes that this happened, but it didn't, right? So, like, he heard from someone else. Like, someone else told him, this is why Dr. Disrespect got banned, uh, and he actually believes that third party... But then why would the doctor disrespect say, hey, you know what, I didn't do that. Like, what are you talking about? Shut up or I'll sue you. Um, we're not seeing that. So all in all, this drama has resurfaced. There's allegations at this point, nothing concrete, but it doesn't look good. It doesn't look good on Twitch for keeping this silent. It doesn't look good on Dr. Disrespect uh, for the way he addressed it. And I don't think we're ever going to get to the bottom of it because most likely there is an NDA involved. But anyway, let me know what you guys think. What, what do you believe actually happened? And I'll see you in the comment section. Take care.